Mirai here with some very basic yet very awesome window layout information. Now this video in particular is going to cover how to use, wait for it, the wizard. It pertains to both the quick setup wizard and the standalone window layout wizard. This screen right here is what every user will see when they use either one of these wizards. Most users will just pick a predefined generated layout from the drop down list located at the top. Quick tip, instead of fully expanding the menu, you can also just scroll through the list with your mouse wheel or arrow keys to view these layouts one by one. The generated layouts in this list rely on your computer's actual configuration. For example, if you only have a single display attached to your computer, then you won't have an option like this for a dual display setup available to you. Now, if these predefined layouts just aren't cutting it, you've got a few basic options to play with. Take note of these key words, which coincide with the settings on the right-hand side. Some of these are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just going to go over everything. Avoid taskbar. This one speaks for itself. If this setting is enabled, your window layout will adjust so it does not cover your window's taskbar. Swapping. This setting enables or disables the swapping of active game windows to the home region. As you can see in the example, if this is disabled, each window, whether active or inactive, will not move from its assigned home region. Leave a hole. This setting creates an extra region in your window layout which essentially leaves a hole. As you can see in the example, when you enable leave a hole, region 1 will use the extra inactive region to just hang out while another window is active. And when you change active regions, those regions will now leave a hole in their place so you can easily identify which window you're currently playing on. While enabling this setting can be more convenient at times, the convenience obviously comes with the cost of requiring more space in your window layout. Maintain Aspect Ratio This one's for those of you who like to have your other windows proportional to your main. If your game windows maintain the same aspect ratio when being scaled down, they won't look stretched, squished, or out of proportion. As you can see from the example, even when you downscale your windows correctly, text can still become fuzzy. And of course, when you make your windows small enough, you can't read anything anyway. Now, here's where these settings come into play. You can see that if I change Avoid Taskbar to False, the predefined layouts refresh and any generated layout that had been previously avoiding the taskbar has now been magically removed from the list. The same is true for almost all of these settings. They're essentially filters for which layouts are going to appear in the generated drop-down list. One thing to note is that if neither the true or false flag is set on a particular setting, then all available options for that setting will be displayed to you in the drop-down list. Now, I skipped over instant swapping on purpose, but let me go back and talk about it. This is an option that you'll most likely want to leave enabled unless you've got a much, much older system which isn't fully capable of multiboxing. Disabling this feature will save on computer resources, but you may experience a delay while switching between game windows due to resolutions being changed on the fly. By disabling instant swapping, you also lose the ability to have perfect mouse broadcasting in each of your windows as shown in the example. I talk about instant swapping more in depth in the next part of this series, and for now I would suggest leaving this option enabled unless you know for sure that you need to disable it. Continuing on down the list, we've got Preferred Edge. This setting determines which edge of the display your alt windows are going to use when they are positioned through this wizard. You can see exactly what this setting does in these examples. Next, we've got cross monitor swapping. If this setting is enabled and you've chosen a multiple monitor layout, the game windows from the other monitors will swap across to where region 1 is located. Normally, the only time you would want to disable this option is if you're running Windows XP or utilizing some of the more advanced features that IS Boxer has to offer. So for now, you can most likely just leave this enabled. Below this, we've got swap groups. What is a swap group? Well, a swap group is basically a user assigned group that defines how the game windows work and interact with each other within that particular group. Does that make sense? I understand that my definition is slightly confusing, but I would consider swap groups to be one of the more advanced features of IS Boxer. 
While you are able to set them up through the wizard, I would strongly suggest setting them up in the actual window layout itself, and I will be covering this in the next part of the window layout series. Last but not least, the final option in the wizard, Use Monitors. When you open this up, you'll see all of your usable displays listed, their bounds, what they're currently named if they are the primary display, and their current working area. For almost all ISBoxer users, these default settings listed here are going to be exactly what you want to leave them as. However, there are a few things you can tweak. If you have a display that you don't want to include in the window layout, you can remove it by highlighting it and clicking Remove. Once you've removed a display from a particular window layout, you'll have to recreate the layout if you want that monitor added back into the mix. Another setting that you can also change is the order in which your displays are interpreted by IS Boxer. Now here's an example to help decode what I just said. Right now, IS Boxer is placing the main region of the layout on my left display. But what if I wanted the main region on the other display? Well, I can't just click and drag the region around while using the wizard. So if I change the order of my displays in this list, IS Boxer will now use the second display to place the main region. IS Boxer reads the displays in that list from the top down, meaning whichever display you would like your main region to be on should be at the top of that list. Now, don't worry, you're not going to break anything by tweaking any of these settings. Any changes made here are specific to IS Boxer only and do not affect any of your operating system settings. With that being said, I think we're done. I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough on the window layout wizard so everyone is familiar with the terms that they see when they're working with this. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, please bring them to isboxer.com. We'd like to hear about how much you love or how much you hate this software. Until next time, Mirai out.